In our American Romanticism video, we talked about Transcendentalism and we told you that we are making an exclusive video on it. If you have not watched the video, you can watch it from the i button. Hello everyone, welcome to Slideshow English YouTube channel where we don't waste your time and give you exclusive content. So without any delay, let's talk about Transcendentalism and let's make English straightforward. Transcendentalism was an American literary, philosophical, political, and religious movement originated in the first half of the 19th century. The term Transcendentalism is very complicated, however the idea behind this is very simple. Let me clear you. Transcendentalist leaders said that we can get in touch with God only through ourselves. No one can define spirituality by logic. Okay, you got the point. Human beings, nature, and supreme God. These three elements, human beings, nature, and the supreme God, these three elements are actually interconnected with each other. We do not necessarily have to do hard works, but we can achieve peace and harmony through the little things around us. This was actually a philosophical movement but uh, as the time passed, the ground of transcendentalism expanded and it started to be reflected also in literature. Many notable authors introduced transcendentalism in literature like Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau and others. Later we will talk about them in details but now let's discuss the types and characteristics of this historical movement. One of the major ideas behind this transcendentalism was that anybody and everybody can realize the true meaning of life through her or his own experiences. I repeat this because I believe this is very important for you. So it says that anybody and everybody can realize the true meaning of life through her or his own experiences. Here one thing you have to remember that individualism was another literary and spiritual concept that was dominant in that time. So individualism also had a little bit impact upon this transcendentalist movement. It says that you can discover the truth by discovering your own thoughts, own beliefs, ideas, feelings and experiences. This concept of discovering truth by discovering own experience also had another advantage. What is the advantage? Look, transcendentalism promoted individualism, right? And this individualism leads to self-reliance and self-understanding which help to build up the motivation in common people to come out from the slavery system, female oppression, unhealthy condition of labors and corruptions. The second thing is that transcendentalism created a concept of relation between human, nature and God. Jesus Christ was thought to be a messenger of God who elevated the idea that everybody is essentially good and a part of the supreme God. If you are connected to the nature, you can easily get in touch with God and achieve the supreme peace and happiness. And thirdly, transcendentalism injected the idea of own authority over own life. The ultimate knowledge cannot be acquired through logic, but it should come through imagination and some deep emotions. It is not a religious idea but understanding the way of life. Its goal is to realize how the principles of life actually work and how we should interact with them. So these three things we discussed with you are the core ideas behind American Transcendentalism. And we can challenge you that no other video can explain Transcendentalism as simply as we did today. But as always, still if you have any doubt or confusion, please let us know in the comment section below. But now, let's have a glance at the most popular transcendentalist. 
the transcendental movement became organized as the transcendental club was founded on 12 September 1836 in the leadership of Ralph Waldo Emerson and many other popular authors, politicians, philosophers and socialists were the members of this group including Henry David Thoreau, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Walt Whitman and Amos Bronson Alcott. Other members of this club were Sylvester Jude, Jones Berry, Theodore Parker, William Henry Canning, and female members included Sophia Ripley, Margaret Fuller, Elizabeth Peabody, Ellen Stargis Hopper, and many others. Now before ending this video, let us give you one more interesting information, that is Transcendental Club had their own periodical publication which is The Dial and Margaret Fuller was the editor of this magazine. This point is very important if you are from India and you are preparing for UGC NET English because this question is frequently asked in the UGC NET paper that what is the periodical publication of the Transcendental Club and the answer is the periodical publication which was published by the Transcendental Club was the Dial magazine and Margaret Fuller was the editor of this magazine. So this is for today's video. We hope that the whole complicated concept of transcendentalism is now clear to you. Please support us by liking this video and comment your valuable thoughts. But for now, tell me goodbye. We'll be meeting on another slideshow English video.